The Dell XPS 13 Plus is the first laptop I've reviewed in the past few years that truly feels like something innovative. And I wanna thank Intel for sponsoring this video and sending it over for me to take a look at it. It's an Intel Evo laptop powered by the latest i7-1260P, which offers more than 10 hours of productivity battery life. Its minimalist design is stunning. It comes with practical functionality keys hidden within the touch bar above the keyboard. And my favorite part, the invisible trackpad. This laptop assumes its users have used a laptop before and know the natural expectations of where keys and buttons should be located. And with my background in graphic design steeped heavily in the Bauhaus movement, I am going crazy over the minimalist design and straight up functionality approach to the Dell XPS 13 Plus. Now kicking it off, this laptop is absolutely stellar with its thin and light on the go capability. And as you just saw a moment ago with the battery life, it will keep you on the go all day. Now the assembly of this laptop is just as amazing. It keeps all the original design elements of the original Dell XPS 15 with these vents coming out of the side to vent and cool the laptop very well. The bottom cover is assembled into the side panels so nicely. There's no catchy edges and everything fits together perfectly. Now for the tap test, the all aluminum chassis is snug tight and the aluminum materials don't have any give or flex or rattling noises. It just is put together really well. Now, as far as the port selection is concerned, that's one area that I'm not stoked about. Now, they do have Thunderbolt 4 on both the right side panel and the left side panel, but you'll have to bring a dongle for any other connectivity you would like, and you're gonna be using one of those Thunderbolt 4 ports for the charger. So just keep that in mind. I would personally be purchasing a dongle if I were gonna pick up this laptop. The fact that this laptop does charge via Thunderbolt 4 though, helps a lot with quick charging. You can charge the battery up to 50% within 30 minutes from completely dead. Now opening and closing the lid on this laptop is a little on the challenging side. It's kind of hard to get your fingers under that hinge. So I found that you kind of have to use two hands to get it open. However, once you get it open, it is a very nice hinge and doesn't lift up the keyboard deck as you're opening it. But as you're first opening it for the first time, you kind of have to use two hands to work the hinge up and then get it open. Now the screen flex on this laptop is minimal to none. That top cover is so rigid. I actually end up moving the laptop before I get any screen flex. So really nice design and good quality assembly there. The hinge is very nice. Not only does it connect at these two points, but there's a middle assembly here that holds the screen very snug to the keyboard deck. So you have a really secure hinge screen keyboard deck connection. Now for a quick sample of the webcam, here's what it looks and sounds like. This is the webcam on the Dell XPS 13 Plus and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now this laptop comes in both a full HD and a 4K display. Personally, I like the full HD display because it's gonna provide you with better battery life and still solid color gamut range. Not as good of color gamut range as the 4K model, but still solid. We're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas and when we do, we're gonna be kicking off a huge giveaway. So you definitely wanna subscribe and ring the bell so you can help us reach 100,000 subscribers and then you'll be alerted with a video regarding the giveaway at that point. Now, one of my favorite aspects of the laptop is a well-executed touch bar. Companies that won't be named have tried touch bars in the past and they just haven't functioned well. I feel like this still holds true to what we all know to be functional as a laptop, but creates that modern understanding that you as a user understand where keys and functionality buttons should be. So all you have to do is tap the function button and it converts all your normal easy to access, you know, brightness, volume, mute, play, pause, print screen, home, into function buttons. I think that is way more practical than some touch bars we've seen in the past. Now the keyboard is awesome. It, it has a short to medium key press and for a keyboard this thin and light, I was actually surprised to have almost a medium key press, which I like. It creates a lot more confirmation when you're typing, but more than anything, I love how tightly the keys are put onto the keyboard, but the keys don't feel crammed. They're still nice, large keycaps, but they're just tightly fit onto the keyboard. And you're still provided with a full size shift key, enter key, and nice size arrow keys with a full size space bar. It just is such a great keyboard. Now, my absolute favorite part of this laptop would have to be the invisible trackpad. The trackpad actually ends up coming into play from the space bar all the way to the control key. And it has such a nice confirmation in the click. You can also use it as a tap. It is a beautiful piece of engineering that they have created on the Dell XPS 13 Plus. 
I have not been more excited about a trackpad than this one in quite a while. For creators, I think this will work very well. You have a nice large size trackpad, it's this whole area, plus you have a 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, which these two connect very well. Now this is also a touchscreen laptop, so you can go ahead, tap, and then type in your password if you wanna do it that way. Or you have Windows Hello, so you just open up your screen, it notices you, signs you on, or you can also do a fingerprint reader under the power button as well. So there's a lot of ways to log on. This computer has a ton of functionality. Yes, it is a touch screen, but it is not a two in one laptop. So this would be a good computer for artists to maybe touch up some of their work, but I wouldn't consider this the best artist friendly laptop. Um, it's not something that you can flip it full two in one and hold it like a tablet. It's something you'll have to support with your hand, use a pen or your finger to do any touch ups or any design changes on your work. Now, here's a quick sample of me using the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear what it sounds like. And also, if you're curious about the audio experience, here's a quick sample of the speakers in use. Now, this thing does have incredible functionality. It looks great, it's thin and light, and it has a great battery life. But what about the performance? Let's go ahead and jump into the performance of this laptop, starting off in Geekbench single core and multi-core. In single core performance, this Intel Evo platform laptop has stellar performance. This is the i7-1260P, and as you can see, with the single core, it's hitting near the top of the charts. Now, as we shift into multi-core, there's a few other laptops that step up above this laptop, but as you can see, it's other i7-1260P laptops. So the way that Dell optimized the CPU in this laptop as it runs quieter than the others I have reviewed. For the 4K video editing export, which is a very taxing process on the system, we saw a max of 67 degrees Celsius out of this laptop with a max fan noise of 45 decibels. Now this I thought was fantastic. I was really excited to see such great thermals fan noise, and export time out of this laptop. So although you're getting great thermals and fan noise, you're not getting as great a performance of other laptops housing the i7-1260P. And they have custom command centers which allow you to tweak the settings more for yourself. Something like the Lenovo Vantage Center or the HP Omen Command Center. Those allow you a little bit more custom functionality. You do have some functionality inside of Windows. You can do efficiency mode, balance mode, or performance mode in the Windows battery section, which does make some changes to the performance, but not as much as having an official OEM command center. So that would be maybe a downside to choosing the i7-1260P inside of the Dell XPS, as opposed to maybe going with the Lenovo Yoga 9i or the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Those are also options housing the i7-1260P and they are Intel Evo platform laptops. Now, as we move on to Cinebench R23, both single core and multi-core scores share a very similar pattern to the Geekbench score. So same conversation there. We'll move forward into the real world benchmarks where I find the most value out of all of these tests. Jumping into the Photoshop benchmark, you can see it is near the top of the chart scoring a 703, a fantastic score for Photoshop. Sitting right above it is the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Again, another i7-1260P laptop, a great contender for that CPU as well. I really enjoy both of these laptops, but I would say from a user standpoint, I prefer the Dell XPS 13 Plus over the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Even though it does score 100 points higher in Photoshop, I just prefer the functionality of this one. Now moving on to video editing. This is an area that I was really impressed with the Dell XPS 13 Plus. You're only gonna have 185 drop frames for 4K video playback while video editing in Premiere Pro. That is one of the best drop frame tests I have seen on a laptop without a dedicated GPU. So if you wanna do 4K video editing with an on the go thin and light laptop with great battery life, this is an incredible pick. Just for fun, I even threw 6K footage into Premiere Pro. It did only drop 271 frames at half quality. However, when I went to export it, it just took way too long to be realistic. This is something that you still want to probably have a dedicated GPU for if you're editing 6K footage. But it was really awesome to see that i7-1260P editing 6K footage without any issues. Now jumping into the 4K export time, it had a four minute and 51 second export, fantastic time, contending with even some dedicated GPU equipped laptops. So awesome to see Intel giving us so much performance 
inside of these low TDP mobile systems. Should you buy the Dell XPS 13 Plus? If you're trying to look for a i7-1260p Intel Evo platform laptop, then it really is one of the best ones. It gets great scores, great battery life. I love the functionality of the Dell XPS 13 Plus with the invisible trackpad, really intelligent functionality buttons, great screen, even in full HD, you don't even have to get 4K, and that full HD does give you stellar battery life, solid webcam, and I really like the feel of the keyboard and the placement of the keys on the keyboard deck. Add in fantastic build quality that is provided with the Dell XPS 13 Plus, all under $1,500 and you have the recipe for a fantastic on-the-go creator laptop. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you wanna help us reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. I'll see you here in the next one.